Good afternoon, faith family. We are in Philippians chapter 1, verses 27 through 30 this week, and to introduce the theme that the Apostle Paul would like for us to consider in our worship, I wanted to share with you a story. The story begins at a gravesite. The cross actually marks the grave of a man who gave his life some 60 years earlier for a man who is now kneeling at that gravesite. Private James Ryan was the fourth son of a woman who had already lost three sons in World War II. Military regulations said that she should not lose her fourth son. So Captain John Miller takes a squad of eight men to go and save Private Ryan. In that rescue mission, all eight men of that squad are killed, including Captain John Miller whose dying words were, earn this. So we flash forward to this 80-year-old man who is now kneeling at this gravesite, crushed by the weight of trying to be worthy for that sacrifice made on his behalf. What would that sacrifice require of him? Captain John Miller expresses it earlier in the movie, Saving Private Ryan, he better earn this. He better cure a disease. He better make a longer lasting light bulb or something. And at 80, he is still asking the question, am I worthy? Did I earn this? And he still doesn't know the answer. He's being crushed by the doubt. Maybe it's the doubt that we can feel when we hear the Apostle Paul say in Philippians 1.27, and let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's almost as if we can hear Jesus Christ on the cross saying, earn this. But if those are the words that we hear from Christ on the cross, we will never feel worthy. The good news, faith family, is that Jesus Christ's words from the cross were not earned this. No, his last words on the cross were, it is finished. It is his work, not our work, that secures for us a, a, a place in the household of faith. That's the gospel. But our lives are to be worthy of that sacrifice. Our lives are to match that sacrifice out of love and gratitude for what Christ did. So Paul, when he writes the Philippians here in Philippians 1.27, he wants them to conduct themselves in a manner worthy of the gospel. And he's trying to think through what would motivate these Philippians. He knows his audience, and he knows the Philippians will be motivated if he speaks in terms of their nationalistic pride. They were proud to be Philippians because Philippi was a Roman colony. It was a privilege to be a Roman citizen. It was a privilege to serve in the Roman army. Just like we are proud to be Americans, the Philippians were proud to be Romans, though they were some 800 miles away. And they understood that with that great privilege of being a Roman citizen, came great responsibility. So Paul, when he says, let your manner of life, he is literally saying, live as citizens, but not as citizens of Rome, but of heaven, where Christ, not Caesar, is Lord. Faith family with great privileges comes great responsibility. As citizens of heaven, we are to reflect that in our life as we live it here on earth. What would it look like for us to live here as citizens of heaven? In our Now What section of the Family Worship Guide, we have three applications for you to consider. What does it mean to live as a citizen of heaven? First, to stand firm whether you are in sight or out of sight. Stand firm. Second, that you would stand firm side by side with your brothers and sisters, arm in arm, in selfless humility. And finally, would you stand firm face to face against the opposition? 
glad that we get to consider this as we live in a culture that is hostile to Christians. We feel outnumbered. We feel that we are on uh, marginalized and on the edge. And it is great to consider what does it mean to live as citizens of heaven in a hostile country, just like it was when the Philippians were to live as citizens of heaven in a Roman colony where there was emperor worship, false gods, idols, and how were they to live in a life that was worthy of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ? To motivate you to do this, we're also going to look in our missionary moment at the life of Corey Timboom, who knew what it was to live as a citizen of heaven, even when she was in the concentration camp of the Nazis in Ravensbrück. I encourage you to consider worshiping with us in your family worship guide this week. We love you, faith family. Walk worthy of the calling to which you've been called.